you believe it, I'm having a great day. The power's there. I can feel the speed. I look down, I check my data, my watch, my Garmin, Phoenix, and it's not even on. I mean, it's cut on, but it's not. It was set to race mode, you know, for, for bike, bicycling. And no data's been collected. Got all the way here, and now I, just now, back for my second time so I've, I've accumulated that data but on my backup I have a backup so I'll probably just use the backup data and then uh, overlay it with whatever it's showing that uh, 16 6 and my watch now that I've got the data on the watch it should be showing that I'm averaging 16.6 uh, miles an hour average this is uh 31 miles by the time i get back to my turnaround it'll be uh ozark it'll be 40 46 if i come back here and then go back to you know make a whole nother lap that'd be the 62s and uh that put me being here three times right now it's two times but uh, I got clouds moving in, so that may stop me for the rest of the day. But like I say, it ain't nothing to it but to do it. I get to the turnaround, I'll look at the skies, see what they're doing. And, but I don't want to get caught in the rain. I seen these flowers, I wanted to show you. Ain't that pretty? All right, I ain't got nothing fancy to say. Uh, maybe before it rains or before the it gets too late in the evening, I can go look at the, the hawks. Red shoulder hawks is, is what, by the call they're being identified, is uh, it's a unique call. When you hear it, you, you know, from now on, every time I ever hear it, I know it's a red shoulder hawk, not a red tail hawk. But uh, I'm learning. So, as of yesterday, there was one on the ground. I did get up kind of close to it, and I was able to see it, and I didn't get, you know, too close. Didn't want to put no pressure on it. It kind of moved away from me, so I just let it go. But, uh, it's interesting to see what the other two that are in the nest, that they'll be there this evening when I get back. So I might be able to take the tripod and get some good footage. We'll see. All right. Thank you for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Look at that. Look. Look. I knew something was going to come into the parking lot that would be worth filming. Wow! Check it out! Oh, he's pulling up. Alright. I gotta go get a video of that. Yeah. I'm running him down. Kansas! <laughs> you can smell the horsepower! I was saying to the people on the YouTube, you can smell the horsepower! <laughs> and you can feel it! <laughs> wow! Did he put this together? Yes, he did. Are you happy with him? Oh yeah, we just got back from Florida and Washington, D.C. Oh. Now down all 48 states in it. Wow! It's got 40 some thousand miles. Y'all not playing. <laughs> it's a real deal. A lot of people build them and never drive them. You that's built it. That's the whole problem. You need to drive it if you build it. Yeah, you got to drive it. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Um, not to keep you hold you up or nothing, but uh, where are you from and, and, and what motivated you to make it? 
Um, well, we're from Southeast Kansas, not too far from here. We've been to DC, that's what she, way, Florida. That's what she said. Um, you know, I've seen one of them shows on TV when they were building stuff, and I said, well, I wonder why I don't build something. So I did. Well, you did. You built something unique. Yeah. What year model is the cab? It's 48. 48? Pickup. Yeah. That's that's a that's the original Ford logo and uh, so did you had a hard time finding those pieces or did you have to custom make them? No, it all came with it. This logo. Yeah, that, and, that was on the hood. Yeah. But they actually was a lot longer. <laughs> yeah, that. yeah. And my everybody's I F, I I misspelled Ford on the front there. Well, that happens. It, it, but it ain't a Ford no more because that's a Chevrolet engine, so now it's an F-Rod. Ah! <laughs> How did it hold up on the long ride? I see you got a strap my, on it. Uh, my radiator broke loose. Well, you fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> We're, uh, my old grandpa always said it was okay to come in with baling wire on your equipment, but you don't take them out that way. Yeah. So she'll, yeah. Get, she'll get a new radiator when I get home. and There you go. We'll go again. All right, I appreciate you letting me see it. Well, well, I got to point this out real quick. The cab looks really tight. It's not that bad. Curl in there. Well, once you're in it, it's a lot of room. Yeah, it's really comfortable. Them seats, yeah. you can sit there all day. How's your visibility? Really good. Really good for you. Can you can see every car, everywhere. With the way you got the mirrors and everything? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. That rear view mirror, you can almost see cars beside you almost. It is a comfortable seat. It is, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and this is where you keep all your cargo. Oh yeah, our luggage and stuff. Stuff you don't want to get wet. Yeah. And your own air shocks. Yeah. So the ride is even better than what, what it looks like. Yeah, it's better than it looks like. It's still kind of rough ride. Yeah. It's not, it's not perfect, right? Does the vehicle have a unique name? No, not really. Not really. Just a hot ride. Just a hot ride from Kansas. All right. I'd almost say that was moonshine, but that's water for your radiator. It, yes, it but is. But it looks like moonshine. Yeah, it could be. We, <laughs> there was a guy back down the road thought we needed to run a little moonshine with him. Yeah. All right. Do you have cruise control? Oh, yes. Last question, because here, here she comes back. Are you Gus? Yep, that's me. Well, this is Gus Mobile. Yep. We give it our YouTube name, Gus Mo Mobile, and this is Rogersville, Rogersville. Gus Mobile in Rogersville, Missouri. That'll be the YouTube name for this video. There you go. Appreciate it.